Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim. Oh, I'm fired up today. I'm fired up today. Um, just wanting to not be in, in the realm of my senses and allow the enemy to bait me, but rather to be in the spiritual realm, to abide in Christ. Down yeah, Tim up Jesus. I'll tell you what, we are living in a new world order already, and we are under police state. I know we are in Illinois, and I'm gonna share with you just a couple examples. Now I wanna say this, God knows the time, and as the body of Christ, we have been given authority as believers. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to spend some, some major time in prayer tomorrow and fasting and allow the Lord to lead me, should he tarry, with a message for Sunday. Oh, brothers and sisters. Um... We must occupy and redeem the time until he, until that nanosecond, until the twinkling of an eye where he catches us away or we breathe our last. Let, let me give you a couple examples of, this is outrageous, this is tyranny, this is police state. In Illinois, I just met with a young mom in our church who's pregnant. And doing well, praise God. And she has a friend who's a nurse who is being induced. And they COVID-19 tested this woman who had no symptoms and told her if she's positive, listen to this, they would take her baby for two weeks. I'm going to tell you something right now. No one's taking any of my grandchildren for two weeks. It'll be over my dead body. Give me liberty or give me death live free or die I don't know what has happened to people it is and it is not about us but but somebody's got to stand up are you kidding we have an elder in our church his wife is in the hospital the man they won't even give him her room number they won't let him go in and see her he doesn't know what's going on. This is ridiculous. I called and they said, they've got security, they've got police ready. I, I, just pray for me, brothers and sisters. I'll tell you what, the other day, when our dear, a dear, wonderful woman of God, saint of God in our church, Sally, who heads up our caring Christians, that gives, to so many ministries and so many in need. And we're and thank you all who support because there are a lot of needs right now. And she said it was time she thought to enact the bail fund when she heard that report of that Pastor Tim who got arrested. Well, it's not this Pastor Tim, but I'll tell you what, I, whoo, Lord, this, can you guys believe they are pushing their agenda? And why are they doing that? I'm going to tell you a big part of it is because this is over. It, they, they are manipulating numbers. And, and the reason is because of their new world order, globalist, elitist agenda. The governor of Illinois, J.D. Pritzker, told the citizens of Illinois, don't you even think about crossing the state line to Indiana because they opened up. Because if you go there to buy and do things you can't hear, there will be repercussions. He, he said they would have the state police arrest us. Well, thankfully, our sheriff's association came out and roasted him and said that was an insult to every heroic officer, police officer, um, corrections officer, and our citizens, and they would not. Meanwhile, his wife and he go to their 12 million estate in Florida, which is, he's one of the, in the neighborhood of the Gates. Are you kidding me? Who do these people think they are? Like, seriously. Um, wow. It, it, I'm just, I, 
I know these things are going to happen. We are seeing it right now like never before. Brothers and sisters, I, I'm tomorrow I'm praying. Anybody want to join me and, and commit to a time of prayer? And if you can fast, I'll tell you what, we did that last week. We had church services last week, and we're having church services this week. Praise God. We're moving forward, and we're going to occupy and redeem the time and boldly share the gospel until Jesus comes back. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the ABCs of salvation is in the description box. Believe on the Lord Jesus. Believe on him. The eternally self-existent God in the persons of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Messiah, left glory, laid down his glory, was born of a virgin, wrapped in flesh, lived a perfect life, never sinned, shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary to pay the debt for our sins once and for all. He died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. The nanosecond you believe, you are saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption. I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for the precious blood of Jesus and his redemptive work on the cross at Calvary for the remission of all my sins. And I'll tell you what, we're going to occupy, hallelujah, until 